Hi everyone, so we have a mixture of 8% disinfected solution is to be made from 10% and 7% solutions. How much of each solution should be used if 30 gallons of 8% solution are needed? Okay, so let's uh, have a bit of a visual on this. Um, so let's say we've got 10% um, solution here. Um, uh, we've got 7% solution here. We want to pour those into a container, okay, that will end up with giving us 30 gallons of 8% solution, okay. So we're going to pour some of this in here and some of this in here to get this. Now the question is how much of each, right? Now before we do anything, before we, we do anything, answer me this question. Do we need more of the 10% solution or more of the 7% solution, right? Which do we need more of? We need more of the 7%. Why? Because it's closer to 8%, right? So just as a silly example, let me give you a silly example. If I wanted to get um, 30 gallons of 7% solution, how much of each would I need? Answer me that silly question. Go on. If I wanted 30 gallons of 7% solution, how much of each of would I need? I would need 30 gallons of 7% solution to make 30 gallons of 7% solution, right? I don't want any of that 10% because even a drop of the 10% is going to put me, make my concentration too high, isn't it? Right? Okay. So, and by the way, what does 10% mean? It means that about one tenth of this is disinfectant, like, you know, alcohol or something, and about 90% is, uh, let's say, water, right? So about 90% water, something like that. That's what it means. About 10% is, is, say, alcohol or something and 90% water, something like that, right? Um, so, okay, so another thing I want you to do to get a, a, a gist for this is I just want you to make a guess then. Just make a guess and see what you come up with, all right? So, so that's my next question. How much of the 10% are you going to throw away and how much of the 7%? Just make a guess and write it down. Remember, you've got to make... 30 gallons and it has to have a percentage of 8%, right? So let's guess for fun. Um, uh, let's see, I'm just going to guess. Um, so I need more 7%. I'm going to guess for fun uh, 16 gallons of 7% uh, with uh, 14 gallons of 10%, right? Because 16 and 14 makes 30, right? So that's that's a reasonable guess, right? And now I'm going to, on the calculator, just calculate how much of the alcohol or the actual disinfectant we have, right? Um, so, you know, 0 0.07 times 16, that's 7% of 16, isn't it? Right? Enter, that's 1.12. So... If I get 0 0.07 times 16, 7% of 16 plus 10% of 14, that's 0 0.1. 10% is 0 0.1, isn't it? Times 14, right? That'll give me 1.12, right? 1.12 plus 0 0.1 times 14, 1.4. And add those together, and I get the units add, and I get 2. 0.52 um, gallons of pure alcohol or whatever the disinfectant is and um, if I do this 2.52 out of 30 that'll give me my final you know um, concentration of the of my guess here so 2.52 
over 30 is 0 0.084. I'm pretty close, right? Because if I move the decimal point over two spots, that's 8.4%, all right? So I really want you to make your own guess. Press pause, guess a couple of numbers, and just try this out. Do the exact same thing. Press pause and do it, okay? So I hope you try to guess your own thing, because it's through the guessing that we're understanding the problem. I'm going to make another guess for fun. I'm going to guess, um, let's see. I'm going to guess 20 gallons of the 7% plus 10 gallons of the 10%, right? Now, so that means I get 7% or 0 0.07 of 20 plus 10% or 0 0.1 of 10. And that'll give me, uh, if I multiply this, 1.4 plus 1, which is 2.4, okay? And then if I go 2.4 over 30, I'll get 0 0.08, which is the correct answer, 8%, okay? But um, we're going to run through this problem anyway, so we just guessed the answer, didn't we? Well, I mean, I hope it helped you to understand the problem, because... Um, yeah, but, but in any case, uh, simple problem, isn't it? But, but let's run through the algebra anyway, just so that we get to practice with these easy numbers. And so when we come across a more difficult problem um, that's not as easy to guess, then we can get it, okay? So we're, we don't know how much of each solution should be used. So we don't know the amount of each solution, right? Um, but let's let one of the solution amounts be X and the other be Y. Right? So like 20 gallons and 10, or 15 and 15, or 5 and 25. But we know that they must add to 30, don't we? Look, x plus y equals 30. They've got to add to 30. Agreed? Right? So, And that's kind of like what we, we did in our guesses. Like if I go back to that previous guess I had, you know, 16 was x and 14 was y. And by golly, they added to 30. Right? Okay? Um, so that's one equation. Now, if you have two unknowns and one equation, you're not going to be able to find out what they are. If you've got two unknowns, you need two equations. Okay. So the other equation is going to be, so let's take 10% uh, of x. Okay. That will give us the amount of pure um, disinfectant in the first container, right? So, uh, and 10%, by the way, is 10 over 100. 100. So that's 10 hundredths, or 0 0.10, or 0 0.1. 10% is 0 0.1, right? Of means multiply. So we have 0 0.1 times x, right? Now, what does that mean? Look, if going back to our one of our guesses there, remember where, when we went, you know, 0 0.1 times 14, we guessed 14 gallons in this guy, right? Um, and we multiplied it to find out that there was 1.4 gallons of, say, pure alcohol in, in that container, right? So we're guessing this is the amount of pure alcohol in this container, right? Um, and then if I take this container, it's a 7% solution. And this is the amount in this container, y, right? So this is the amount in this container, x is the amount in this container, y. The, the amounts add to 30 gallons. So we should be okay with this equation. But this equation is, you know, 7%, the pure amount of uh, y, the pure amount of, of, of whatever's in here, right? And 7% is 7 per 100, 7 over 100, 0 0.07. So we have 0 0.07 times y of whatever this is, right? And just like in our previous example, we had like, you know, 0 0.07 times 16 gallons gave 1.12, right? So 0 0.07 times that, okay. Now, now what we know is if we take the pure alcohol in this and the pure alcohol in this, they should add to give the pure alcohol in the combined amount. Alright? So, um, 
So if I add these to pure alcohol or the pure disinfectant amounts, they should add to give 8%, sorry, they should add to give 8% of 30 gallons, right? 8% of 30 gallons, because that's the amount of pure disinfectant in the combined container, right? Into the big container. So, and that's 0 0.08, 8% is 0 0.08 th times 30, okay? So we have 0.1x plus 0.07y should combine to give, multiply these, uh, you can do it on a calculator and you'll find that's 2.4, okay? Darn it. Okay, so what we need to do is um, plug the 30 minus x in for y into that equation. So we get 0.1x plus 0 0.07 times 30 minus x equals 2.4, right? So 0.1x, and then if I multiply this guy in, uh, 30 times 0 0.07, by the way, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 3 is 21, and look at this, I have one, two decimal places to move, so 1, 2 over here, and that becomes a 2.1, so plus 2.1, and then 0 0.07 times that is minus 0.07x equals 2.4, okay? Now I need to combine like terms and basically try to solve for x. So I'm going to simplify the left side and combine like terms. And by all means, by the way, please press pause in the video, try this yourself, and then check the answer, right? But um, I'll go through it for anyone that needs the help. So this is 0.1x. It's also, you could think of that as 0.10x, 0.10 times x. And so I basically have 0.10x minus 0.07x, okay? That's basically like, you know, 10 minus 7 there. So it's 0.03x is what we get, right? So we get 0.03x, that's positive, and I still have the 2.1 there. So 2.1 plus that equals 2.4, okay? What should we do now? We're trying to solve for x, remember. x is being multiplied by 0.03, and then 2.1 is being added. So I need to subtract 2.1 from both sides and I get 0.03x equals 2.1 minus 2.4 minus 2.1 is 0 0.3 okay and now to get x on its own what do we do x has been multiplied by 0 0.03 so we need to divide by 0 0.03 on both sides okay and so now we have x equals what well, one way to simplify this is, I'm thinking, you know, if I could move that decimal point over to the 3, then I have something a lot easier to work with. So watch this. I just want you to learn this little trick. What do I multiply um, this by on the bottom here, the 0 0.03, in order to get 3? Like, 0 0.03 times what will give me just 3? You know what that is? 100. If I multiply it by 100, I'll get 3. So let's multiply the top by 100 also, right? So let's multiply it by 100 over 100 just for fun, because watch this, it'll be fun. The bottom becomes 3, but the top, the decimal point, goes moves over 1, 2 spots to give 30. So this thing that looks complicated just becomes 30 over 3. And what's that? Many 3s are contained in 30. 30 divided into 3 pieces is... 10. So x is 10. And are we done? We are not done. You haven't told me what this means in real life and you also haven't solved the problem completely because we also need to find what? We need to find y. In fact we need to answer this original question which was uh, how much of each solution should be used if 30 gallons of 8% solution are needed? So how much of each? So we found one of them, which is 10, but we need the other one, right? 
So going back to the problem, what that means is we need to find y. How can you find y? How can you find y? Well, y was 30 minus x, and x is 10, so y is 30 minus 10, which is 20. Okay, so y is 20 gallons. And so how much of each are needed, though? Have we solved the problem now, just 10 and 20? Is that going to solve it? Is there more to talk about? Sure there is, because 10 of what and 20 of what, right? Is it 10 of this and 20 of that, or 10 of that and 20 of that, right? So that's the trick. So we go back to there's different things you need to match up. First of all, we said that x was the 10% solution, didn't we? Because we said 10% of x plus 7% of y should give 8% of 30, right? So this should be 10 gallons. And we said y is 20, so that should be 20 gallons. Now, by all means, you need to check your answer, especially if you're taking a test, right? So we said x plus y is 20. So that means 10 plus, oh, sorry, 30. X plus Y is 30 gallons, remember at the beginning? So 10 plus 20 should equal 30. Oops, and it does, right? We said 10% uh, of X, so 10% of 10 plus 7% of Y, so 7% of 20 should equal 8% of 30. That's our pure disinfectant equation, right? And that should work out because 0 0.1 times 10 plus 0 0.07 times 20 should equal 0 0.08 times 30. And that 0 0.1 times 10 is 1, isn't it? And go ahead and solve this. 0 0.07 times 20, we already calculated that, I think. Um, oh, no, we didn't. Um, 20... 0 0.07, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 2 is 14, and decimal point, 2 spots, so 1.4, and we already calculated this, that was 2.4, remember? So 1 plus 2.4, does that work? Plus 1.4 equals 2.4, does that work? Yep. Okay, so both equations worked out, it all checked out, we need 10 gallons of the 10% solution, plus 20 gallons of the 7% solution, right? So the final thing is, you know, 10 gallons of 10% uh, solution and uh, 20 gallons of the 7% solution. That's the answer, right?